Oh my god, I'm so excited for this video. Um, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much. Start again, rewind. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new here, then hello, hi, my name is Anna. Make sure you guys are subscribed because I'm currently posting like two or three videos a week at the moment and I'm really enjoying it. I'm getting myself into a really good like routine of uploading. So I don't want anybody to miss out on any videos or whatever. Um, so yes, please do hit that subscribe button. Also give this video a big old thumbs up if you do enjoy it. And yeah, let's just not waste any time. Let's get into this video. I'm so excited. So everybody knows me as like a ASOS gal through and through. Always have been and all, probably always will be. Um, I just think ASOS is just an unreal brand in itself. There's so much to choose from, just everything about it. I just, I'm so obsessed with. However, in the last few weeks, I have seen so many nice and cute things on Pretty Little Thing that, I mean, I just haven't been on their app or on their website in so long. And I went on and I was like, oh my God, there's so much nice stuff in here. I'm literally just so obsessed with every single piece that I've got. I think they've got some really, really good stuff on there at the moment. And all the kind of trends that I'm really into at the moment, things like patterns, bright colors, bold colors, block colors, um, different textures, all that kind of stuff. They literally have it on there for such a good price. Really good quality, I think, for the price that you're paying. And yeah, I'm just so obsessed and I'm really excited to get into today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. You like all these outfits and if you want to, please let me know which one was your favorite. And yes, okay, I'll stop blabbing on now. Let's get on into today's video and you. Okay, so the first thing I picked up was this really cute top. Now the camera's not really picking up in the right kind of colors. It's more of like green tones. I don't know why it's coming up brown. Um, but it's got this really cute like marbling effect top and then there's like a ruched detailing down the middle which I think is super cute and then at the bottom there's like a little cut out so it's a bit of under boob action which I'm all here for I think that's really cute at the top I'm either like a high neck person or I'm like a low neck person there's not really any in between but I say this is quite like an in between kind of top I've styled these with a pair of khaki cargos which I think went so well with this like matching all like the green kind of tones with the top and I just think it all came together so, so nicely. It's very like utility vibes, you know? And I love that. Very like kind of boyish and grungy-ish. Is that even a word? I don't know. By just adding something in like a pattern or a color or I don't know, like different kind of textures. I think it just adds something really, really nice into an outfit. I don't know, do you guys agree? This is definitely one of my favorite tops at the moment. I did put this up, oop. I did put this up over on my Instagram maybe last week and um, but I just thought I would share it on here as well because it's a new piece and I'm just really obsessed with it okay item number two was these pair of sagey green wide leg ribbed trousers now if you're like me and you like to style your clothes so that they're comfortable and they're stylish you know you know you know that's so mean me to a T at the moment anyway um being comfortable and looking stylish at the same time is like a win-win and if you don't like that kind of style then you're a bit weird aren't you um but yes these are from pretty little thing obviously they are ribbed which is so nice and i think ribbed clothing from pretty little things sometimes can be a bit hit or miss it's either really really thin and you can see your skin through the trousers and it's just not very good quality or these trousers great quality not see-through they feel really expensive to be honest and i'm pretty sure they were a very affordable price they're also wide leg so they're not tight which is great especially if you're going for that kind of comfort element we're not gonna we're not here for the tight clothing i paired this actually really not my color but an orange vest this is an orange vest with like white piping detailing around the outskirts it's from asos design but it was on the men's section um it was one of the quite low in stock but I just picked up because I was like that could look either really really good or really really bad and I love it I love it I was thinking of putting on like a turtleneck underneath which you definitely could or even like a white shirt uh, but I didn't I just wore it as like a top almost like an oversized top vest kind of thing and paired it with these sagey green trousers and I just think it looks so cool I also have these trousers in brown which I've also styled quite a bit over on my Instagram and I'm obsessed with them although the brown ones are a little bit too big for me but these are the perfect size 
oh, I'm just so obsessed with these trousers. They're honestly like my go-to pair of trousers at the moment and you guys all need to get on that hype. This is a bodysuit, brown, chocolate. Um, this color is so in at the moment, like so in. And I'm also so, so here for it. Um, I'm obsessed with brown. I'm wearing brown today. I've got a gold little bralette on. I just, I'm obsessed with that kind of color family at the moment. I just think it's so fun to style. And I just think it looks so like, chic and sleek like it looks expensive you know i always used to think that about like dark tones i mean it's the same with the color black i just think it looks so expensive and like i don't know like very mature looking you know this is like a turtleneck kind of vibe bodysuit it's got low sides almost but it makes a really nice detailing at the front i just think it looks super sleek and if you have like kind of big boobs like me i just think it's a really pretty shape for them um i don't know i just think it's really really cute it's so simple so easy to style and it's like a basic to have in your wardrobe again for a really affordable price getting that being able to style up really coolly get some funky trousers on and you're away you're set you're off i styled these with a pair of cream nude colored joggers but they look like smart joggers they're from asos again so obsessed with them i just did a thing over on my instagram where like i recreated some looks from Hailey bieber and i used those trousers in one of the looks and i got so many compliments on them you guys loved them so that makes me very happy and i think in a few of the photos i put on my collusion shirt over top i think there's nothing better than that combo of an oversized shirt and a body it. they just go hand in hand it's like a no-brainer yeah really cute bodysuit though what do you guys think do you like it right you all are gonna call me crazy for even buying this item but just like hear me out okay so i actually bought a dress in this oh my god this pattern is so nice so again it's got that chocolatey brown color matched with like a really nice teal blue like an electric blue i think the color patterns in this dress are oh my god astounding literally astounding that's the only one i have for it so nice that i love this shape in tops in dresses anything to be honest where there's strappy detailing tick um this shape is like a shell kind of shape to cover the melons and then in the dress is a little cut out detailing. It just makes your body look so nice. Just so nice. If you're like a bit insecure about your tummy, I think having a dress like this with it is like a cut out detailing. It creates a really nice illusion of like a, you know, you know. This is what this dress does. And oh my God, it looks so freaking good. Um, and then over the top of this dress, I actually matched another pretty little thing outfit item, which was the blazer, the Molly May one in her collection, the blue one with the pink detailing on the, what do they call it, a pocket? Oh my God, I just, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this kind of pattern detailing of like kind of abstract, unique shapes is all very in at the moment. Uh, especially these colors, the chocolate browns, the blues, the yellows, the greens. Oh, it just is great. It really is just great. Right. I have nothing else to say about it. Just this dress is just my everything. It honestly is my everything. I'm gonna frame the photo that I get in it when it comes to summer because I'm gonna be wearing it that much. And then because I was just that obsessed, I decided to get the same dress, but just in black. Um, black is my favorite color to style, to wear, to do anything really in. Again, it's got these really cute straps in the middle. I actually styled this dress differently with the straps in the photos you're gonna see. Um, instead, I decided to put one of the straps over the back of my head, so it turned it more into like a halter neck kind of dress and changed the illusion of how like the shell shaped parts, I like material looks on my boobs so it looks more like lifted with this one it was like straight across like a bandeau kind of look whereas because you're putting one of the straps over the back of your head it's changing the shape of yeah your boobs and how they look in this dress oh my god i'm so obsessed i just think this shape of the dress is just amazing if it didn't have that cut out detailing i don't think i'd like it as much but it's because of that cut out detailing the minimalist kind of strap details um the shape of like the top half of the dress it's just great, it really is. And it does have a wee slit up the side, I forgot to say that before, with a little bit of ruched detailing up the side. Again, a great, a great buy from me and I'm very, very proud of myself. And you know what? I'm not one to wear dresses. I always feel so insecure in them. I don't know why. I hate my legs being out. I just like as much as my body covered as possible in areas I'm really insecure about. Um, so dresses just aren't for me. I never wear them, literally never. Even in the summer months, I don't. But honestly, I felt so confident in this. 
and I just had to share it with you guys because if you're also a bit insecure about elements of your body and that's why it stops you from wearing dresses sometimes try this dress honestly because it's a saving grace and it really has been for me and then to style it I just styled it with my SLA blazer over top kind of just like draped it over my shoulders and then again just wore those black mules that I got from ASOS okay you guys thought the dresses were really really great okay if Michael's gonna get so angry at me because he always is like you need to stop buying your clothes so oversized because <laughs> you just need to stop okay because you're gonna drown in them one day and it's so true but with things like blazers and coats and I don't know anything long line like it's like an overcoat kind of thing oversized is the only way to go so I bought this leather it is a blazer but I bought it quite big so it is more of like a longer blazer just because of how oversized it is. I'm fully losing sensation in my foot right now so I might have to sit sideways. <sighs> I literally can't feel my foot. I think it might be going blue. It literally is just a blazer, okay? It's massive. I literally can't fit into the camera but you'll see in the photos. I am... Um, I don't know where this has been all my life. I usually like associate pretty little thing as well to just being like the quality being not very good and like it's almost like you kind of get what you pay for kind of thing. This jacket, I'm pretty sure, or this blazer was something like 30 pounds, but the quality on this genuinely feels like it could be from like Zara and when you get it for like 90 quid, you know? That's the same kind of vibes. Um, so you do have like the structured shoulder pads, which is great. I love that in a blazer. You can see it on this one. I really like structured shoulder pads. I think it just adds a bit of something like expensive to the outfit. Um, it is obviously leather, faux leather, obviously. Um, I do have a leather blazer from Zara, but it's just not as oversized as I like it. This, however, is a bit too oversized. You could actually wear this as a blazer dress. I still would with like maybe like my pair of docks, like a headband, a mini bag, even put like a turtleneck on underneath. Oh my God, that would look so good. I really do think that items like this in your wardrobe are just such a good staple but I just think this is so nice it literally is so nice and yeah if you are into oversized things you're into leather you're into blazers then you need this you honestly do need this and we can be twins you know okay, this is the second last item that I'm going to show you but it is these khaki shorts the quality the quality of these shorts are unbelievable they're honestly unbelievable i love the detailing i usually hate when things say like pretty little thing pretty little thing like really big like branding i, I don't like that i like very minimal I'm like you don't even know it's from there but i really like this detailing at the front i think it looks almost like boxer shorts like no like boxing shorts you know ding 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 that one you know not like boxer shorts boxing shorts I think that's the vibe they were going for. And uh, again, if you're into that whole like boyish, loungy comfort, but stylish, these shorts are great for you. Um, also, I love khaki, literally love khaki. I always have loved khaki. It's always been one of my favorite colors. So I paired this with a khaki razorback top, a khaki blazer, and then I paired it with my ASOS platform. Brogues, are they brogues? I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I paired them with those ASOS platform shoes I have showcased over on my Instagram before. Um, and I think this all just came together so nicely, literally so nicely. Um, I don't know if anybody knows this, but I probably have mentioned it before. Something co-ward and matching in colour. That is so nice, so nice, so nice. Because it looks like you have thought about your outfit. You've not just chucked that on, even though you have. You've thought about it. all the same colours, putting them all together. All the different textures, all the different fits. It's just great, it really is. And I've said this like in the very first videos I made on YouTube, even on my Instagram as well. Um, but I love the idea of having something really tight on the top, so like a razor back top that is tight and cropped. Something really oversized over top, like a blazer. And then, these shorts being really oversized as well, I think it just adds to the whole element of the outfit. And I just think it looks so great. Do you guys like it? Are you vibing with it? I think it looks so cool. The quality of these shorts are unbelievable. They are so comfortable. I'm just obsessed. Okay, I'm stop talking now. Okay, and finally, which is sad, but razor back tops have been a thing for me since last year. They're still a thing with me this year. And whenever I see one and it's got a cool pattern on at the moment, oh my god, I want it. I need it. Um, this was exactly what happened with this one, again, 
those really cool patterns. There's a common trend going on here. I'm just obsessed. And we're intertwining the whole green theme. And we've got so many different tones of green going on in here. There is elements of brown and it's also mesh. Super sexy. Um, but I actually, just so I wasn't revealing anything, just rolled up the bottom of the top over my boobs and then you couldn't see anything. It was totally fine. Like I definitely wear that. I would not be worried about someone seeing a melon. <laughs> That's a really rude way of uh, talking about my boobs, but I just hate saying the word boobs, 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 boobs. I just love how much effort Pretty little thing are now putting into their clothing. I think they've really stepped up. I've been so impressed every time I've ordered something. I've never not, I've never ordered something yet and been like, this is not right. And I have that a lot, a lot, a lot with clothing because it's either gonna fit and it's either gonna fit like a glove or it's gonna be way too big. You know, there's never an in between with me, but I've honestly been so, so impressed with the sizing, the patterns, the clothes, everything. Really obsessed. And I am a massive lover of this top. I really am. I just think, I don't know, again, a really good staple to have in your wardrobe. Now I paired this with a pair of Puma oversized joggers, cord kind of. And I got them from ASOS and they were on my ASOS picks of the week last week. I did purchase them because I was just so obsessed. This looks so great together. Again, we're clashing patterns, textures, all that kind of stuff. And some people might think, oh, that's a bit too much. That's a bit too overwhelming. And that's fair enough. But yes, this top matched it with those Puma joggers. They are blue, but I think blue, green, sage, all those kinds of colors, they do work really nicely together. And yeah. Okay, well, that was everything, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love filming hauls. I've not filmed one in so long, like genuinely so long. Um, so I really hope you guys did enjoy it and you liked the way that I styled the clothes and whatever. And yeah. If you want me to film some more hauls, please like comment down below or message me over on my Instagram of a company or a brand that you'd like to see a haul from. And I will definitely do that because again, like I said, I love to film hauls. I love styling clothes, putting them all together, editing it to make it look all fun and cool. And yeah. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be a boyfriend does my ASOS order. So that'll be pretty fun. And then obviously we've got the vlog going up on Sunday. So yes, lots to look forward to this week. I hope you guys will stick around and watch all of these videos coming. Please do subscribe. Hmm? Please do subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you guys enjoyed it. And is that everything that I have to say? I think so. I think so. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day wherever you are watching this and yeah, peace out.